down is negative. The displacement while coming down is negative. Now, this is the negative displacement while coming down. What is the total displacement for the whole journey? You can see an area above the x-axis is positive. The area below the x-axis is negative. That means if you add these two, what do you get? Zero. So the total displacement is zero in this case. You can see the position, the total displacement is zero. Let's uh, do another one. Sketch the general form of the graphs of position x versus time t, velocity v versus time t, and acceleration a versus time t. For an object moving with positive velocity and positive acceleration. Well, positive velocity and positive acceleration. It means the velocity is continuously increasing. The position is increasing every second. So, if the acceleration is positive, the position graph will be concave up. Well, let's uh, look at this. Here is the case of the object that is moving with positive velocity and positive acceleration. Look at this. If this is the displacement in the first second, this is the displacement in the third second, the displacement each second is greater than the previous second. That means the graph will be concave up. So, x against t, it will be concave up. Each second, the displacement is greater than the previous second. The position graph is concave up. How about the velocity graph? Because the acceleration is positive and uniform, the velocity will keep on rising. It will be a straight line and the slope of the velocity graph will be the acceleration. How will the acceleration change? The acceleration will be uniform and positive. You can see the, how the displacement changes how the velocity changes and how the acceleration changes for a particle moving with positive velocity and positive acceleration. I want you to learn <laughs> these descriptions. All right? <laughs> now, I have an animation that is given on this website. I would like to acknowledge each time I use a borrowed animation. Now, watch this animation. You can see positive velocity, positive acceleration. You can see these dots get farther apart. And look at how the position function is graphed. It's a concave up graph. Velocity increases uniformly and acceleration remains a constant, namely 2 meter per second squared. All right? Okay, let's move on and look at another case. All right, sketch the general form of the graphs of position x versus time t. You need to sketch the position graph. Sketch the velocity versus time graph and acceleration against time of an object moving with positive velocity and negative acceleration. All right, positive velocity and negative acceleration. Can you tell me what that's going to look like? Well, look at the positions of the object. What happens? Because you have a negative acceleration, the displacement each second is smaller than the previous one because the object has a negative acceleration. So, if the acceleration is negative, if you plot a graph of, if you look at this, if this is the displacement in the first second, displacement in the second second is smaller, displacement in the third second is even smaller, each time the displacement gets smaller and smaller. 
So the position graph will be therefore concave down. That's the graph of position against time. How will the velocity change? Well, velocity is positive and decreasing. Is that right? Because the acceleration is negative, the velocity is positive and decreasing. You see that? And what will be the acceleration against time? Acceleration is uniform and negative. The acceleration is negative, the velocity decreases. You can see, if you measure the slope of this graph, that should be a measure of the acceleration. And now, what will be a plot of acceleration against time? Can you, can you help me do that? Acceleration is negative and remains a constant. So it will be a horizontal line below the time axis. So, this is how the position changes, this is how the velocity changes, and this is how the acceleration for an object that is moving with positive velocity and negative acceleration. In fact, this is the case when the object is thrown up until it reaches the maximum height. You see that? That's the same case here. All right. Let's now look at uh, the same case, a web animation. You can see positive velocity, negative acceleration. Each second, the displacement gets smaller and smaller. The position graph is concave down. The velocity decreases to zero. And the acceleration is a horizontal line below the time axis. The acceleration is negative, therefore the velocity decreases. The displacement each second is smaller than the previous second, therefore the graph will bend down. And of course the acceleration is negative, means it will be a horizontal line below the time axis. Look at one more case. Sketch the general form of the graphs of Position x versus time t, velocity versus time t, and acceleration versus time t, look at this carefully, of an object moving with negative velocity and positive acceleration. Well, negative velocity and positive acceleration. Can you think about this? In other words, the object is moving in the negative x direction, negative velocity, and the acceleration is positive. This is opposite to the first one we did. All right, let's uh, look at the position. It is moving in the negative x direction, and there is an acceleration directed in the positive x direction. That means the displacement is getting smaller and smaller, but there's a difference. The displacement is getting smaller and smaller in the negative x direction, not the positive x direction. Is that right? Yes. Therefore, what will the graph look like? So, this is the direction of the velocity, and the direction of the acceleration is opposite. Now, the displacement each second is smaller than the previous second. But actually, that statement is strictly not correct. Because these are negative, the, when a negative number becomes smaller, its value is increasing. Actually, the displacement is getting bigger each second. Is that right? Because negative 2 is greater than negative 5. That means if this is negative 5 and this is negative 2, this is greater than this. So, what will be the graph like? Alright, look at the graph there. The graph is concave up. The acceleration is positive. Whenever the acceleration is positive, the position graph will be concave up. In other words, it is like this. 
You see, this is the graph of position against time for an object that is going to the right with a negative acceleration. You see that? Now, if you simply reflect it, it will give you the case here. If you simply reflect it, you get this graph. So, this is the position against time graph. And how will the velocity against time graph look like? Velocity is negative and increasing. Isn't it? Tell me, is the velocity increasing or decreasing here? If the velocity decreases, it will keep on going in the negative x direction. But because it's got a positive acceleration, the velocity is actually increasing. And that is why eventually it will turn back. So how will the velocity look like? It starts with a very large negative value and the velocity gradually increases to become zero. So look at the velocity graph. The velocity is negative, increases to become zero. And what is the acceleration? Acceleration is positive and uniform. All right? I want you to watch these one more time, get these concepts clearly understood. All right. Again, I have an animation of the same concept. An object moving to the left, negative velocity and positive acceleration. Look at that, the position function, the velocity function, it starts at negative 20 meter per second and increases to zero, and the acceleration is positive and uniform. Okay, let's move on. Let's do a problem.